throughout the day yesterday, which was Thursday, an active band of thunderstorms and a warm, dry, strong northerly wind flow all swept across the southeast of the country, primarily through New South Wales, but also into neighbouring states too. Throughout the day, there were numerous weather events reported, including raised dust through central areas. Lots of places had wind gusts up over 70, 80, 90, and even 100 kilometres an hour through the course of the day. And of course, the thunderstorms moved across many places. That leading band reached the east coast, including the Sydney metro area, late in the day on Thursday, around about 10 p.m. Eastern time. As it arrived, the wind picked up, and our strongest wind gusts reported were in the far western suburbs of Sydney, out towards Penrith, where winds of over 90 km an hour were seen through the night. Other places, the winds were into the 60s and 70s. There is every chance that some of these storms did deliver localised areas of even stronger winds, and that may well have contributed to the damage that reported through Sydney through the early hours of this morning. <coughs> okay. Friday will be another windy day for large parts of southeastern Australia. It's got a bit of a different flavour compared to the wind on Thursday, which was a warm, dry, northerly wind. Now we're looking at a much colder southwesterly wind across the southeastern parts of the country. Throughout Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and parts of New South Wales, these strong cold winds will persist through the day on Friday. And there have been new severe weather warnings issued for parts of the south to cover these winds. Gusts are expected to exceed 90 kilometres an hour for many places and could exceed 100 kilometres an hour in some areas as well. There have already been numerous power outages reported across parts of Victoria and we expect to see those kind of impacts continue through the day on Friday as it will be a windy day. Most areas will see their wind ease through Friday afternoon or evening and by the weekend that wind should be dialing down everywhere. Also caught up in the strong southwest flow will be showers and possible hail for many in the southeast of the country and there's a chance that we could get a shower or even a little bit of small hail for the footy tonight at the MCG. Damaging wind warnings are set to continue across southeastern parts of the country through the rest of Friday. It's a very windy day across large parts of Victoria, as well as parts of South Australia, New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territories and Tasmania. New damaging wind warnings have just been issued this morning and we will continue to see these winds blow strongly through the day today with gusts exceeding 90 kilometres an hour through many of these areas and possibility of wind gusts over 100 kilometres an hour in some exposed sites. There have already been reports of numerous power outages and damage across southeastern Australia both today and yesterday, and we could see more of that on the cards for Friday as the wind blows strongly. There will be an easing trend to the wind tonight with many of those warning areas expected to last through the day but be cancelled this evening and ahead of the weekend. Much calmer weather is in store for most of Australia. Cool conditions persist across the southeast with temperatures 8 or 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday with the strong southwest flow. And looking into the weekend, it will be clear but chilly for many, including the chance of extensive frosty nights. <laughs>